A 16-year-old has been arrested for the death of a 13-year-old schoolmate at River Valley High School. He will be charged with murder tomorrow. An axe was also seized as evidence. Family counselling psychologist Adrian Lim Peng An joins us now to share his insights on what can be done to manage the distress following this incident. Adrian, what potential after effects could this tragic incident have, perhaps on, on those who might have known these two students involved or perhaps who might have witnessed any part of this incident today? Yeah, first, first of all, I'd like to share that it's a very sad day that all of us are experiencing, the whole of Singapore, I believe, right? Parents, students, teachers, the fraternity. The experience are basically the emotion of fear, anxiety, grief and loss, the sadness, the doubts, the worry, the anger even, the numbness that some of the students will be feeling, the uncertainty, and sometimes the idea they wanting to, to hide away and just disappear sometimes. So these are the and Adrian, on, on the next steps. Yo. Yeah. On, on next steps, what extent of counselling will be needed in order yeah. to help okay, uh, those involved manage any possible um, trauma I've, or grief stemming from the incident? Yeah. Um, the MOE uh, guidance branch has uh, definitely gone on to the school to render immediate support. Lots of empathic listening, talking out with the students, the teachers, um, because of the sudden information and the trauma. There is trauma because it is a uh, un, un, very sad and unfortunate tragic incident that has happened. It's a critical incident. And um, the uh, care officers, I believe, from MOE would be there on hand to render support, to do the debriefing, I believe, was done in the school hall. And these are the extent of the support that they need to really work through the issues. Just remember for parents, I'm focusing on you to be attentive, to listen to your son or daughter who are maybe schoolmates, classmates, CCA mates, with either one of the two boys. It's very important to be there, to be uh, listening through the open, non-judgmental, very sensitive. And if you need help as a caregiver as a um, parent do reach out to the school for further support because as a caregiver as a parent you need the support you have to manage your own fears anxiety right and the uncertainty that you are going through so parents need to be ready to reach out for that support adrian yes. but but if they have children who yes. are students from the school what should they be looking out for to make sure that their children are coping Okay, um, they, they, they look out for signs of a withdrawal, signs of um, sadness, which is normal, right? Uh, respond rather than react, very important, right? Because your, the, your son or your daughter is also looking up to you for assurance, for support from you, right? But if tonight, maybe the sleep will be affected, it's normal because we're responding and reacting to this situation. But as a parent, as a caregiver, please remain calm to be able to give the assurance that you are there with them, that they are not alone. We are all not alone. Adrian, speculation over the incident, as well as alleged photos and messages relating to it, have been circulating. How could this affect the families involved and the students from the school and what should members of the public do if, if this is if this does sort of arrive in, on their phones? Sure. First of all, whenever you have received something, just put yourself in the shoes of the families and the students involved. Show respect and be very sensitive, right? No point circulating information that is speculative, right? Just put yourself in their shoes. Because in the next six to eight weeks is a crucial time for intervention, right? For the support in the recovery, right? So be sensitive, look out, be available, seek support when you need to. Don't be shy. 
all of us are in the same boat. We are going this route together. All right. So remember, please be respectful, be sensitive. Okay, many thanks, Adrian. Family counseling psychologist Adrian Lim Peng An.